गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग हाउ आर यू गाइस फाइन सर फाइन यस हाउ इज द वेदर और वेदर इज सम नॉर्मल यू कैन से दैट 13 डिग्री सेल्सियस करंट ओके ओके वी हैड सम स्नो फ्लरी टुडे या या इन uh because the elevation in this area is just like kashmir so exactly we have yeah. the same type of weather in new york city and uh, surrounding area pretty much it is at the same elevation so we have similar weather it's like similar or similar some uh dizzling is is also yeah uh, happen here after before earlier oh okay yeah good <clears throat> sir uh one request is there uh, behalf of my son actually my son is a desire to go abroad yeah so what is the process how can he join uh in foreign in foreign companies uh how long he has been working he he has been working with lnt work uh, uh, before 6 uh, months you can say 6 months okay. only he right. now he he's like a fresher <laughs> yeah yeah that's fine that's why uh, because you know, uh, I just wanted to get idea where did he go to engineering college where did he go to from Allahabad I E R T his teacher name is I E R T Allahabad okay all right so i mean you know we were talking the other day yeah there are uh, there are right now a lot of uh, countries which are allowing people to come like uh, even the I just sent to Pankaj I saw something on the YouTube even London is allowing people to come on work visa for 5 years so he can go to like uh, United Kingdom he can he has to apply he has to do some research but uh, that is one country Canada is another country Australia is the third country and New Zealand so so he has to start doing uh for research i mean you know if you can start with the google first go and just put the search how to go to uh, how to go to canada how to go to uh, uh london how to go to uh, australia for job and then there will be bunch of websites will come because what happens is that there are a lot of recruiting firms in all those countries and uh, they they want to hire people from outside who has the right qualification they get paid by the companies so their job is they just like the head hunters uh, in india you know they are kind of play as a middleman role and they can guide you so that is that is the if you wants to do the job then that is the one process uh, uh, he he can go like right now canada is looking for the, Uh, all kind of professional engineers lawyers doctors accountant bankers you name it everybody is uh, it's a huge uh, huge country and they need a lot of people and uh, that's what they're trying to find and uh, we have the advantage that we are kind of at least we are exposed to english culture so they like it when people from india apply so canada comes to me in my list as a top second one i would say is uh, australia is also pretty good and then london and then last one will be the united states but for the united states only it is a long process in the sense that uh, you know he can come as a student uh, yeah. there are bunch of universities he can apply for the masters in admission and again he can search the american universities there are a bunch of uh, websites which gives you the whole list of the american universities and then uh, so my, when he who and he does on the google 
list of American universities uh, with mechanical engineering master's program, or they call it here graduate studies. Masters and PhDs are America called in America called graduate studies, so graduate program. Graduate program in uh, U.S. Uh, uh, universities. If he does that search, the bunch of uh, uh, school will show up, and then he can go through that, and then he can see which, which are the uh, areas where mechanical engineering program is. So, so that that is how you you start, and um, there are a bunch of universities. So let him do some basic research first. Let's see what he wants to do. And then maybe you can bring him also in this meeting one time. I can talk to him on Tuesdays and I can explain to him. But sir, uh, whenever when uh, I usually use to talk about this process, uh, a lot of companies, mediators come to on site. But uh, there is mis message in the society here that um, a lot of uh, agents who uh, take money and uh, misuse them, misuse the employees and uh, for the other Well, I mean, um, I mean, the thing is that, uh, you know, you have to watch for these things. So there are uh, like, uh, you know, uh, if you do a little homework, there is no need to go through the uh, for Canada. Like uh, you can directly apply there. You can go to the government Canadian government website. It's like completing a form for like passport. You know, just yeah. like uh, you are doing the form for the passport. Everything is you see the good thing in the Western society is that everything is online. You don't need to go to any office. I mean, you can do the same type of research which I can do from here. I also, for any little thing, I go to computer and do it. And uh, you have access to computer, you can do it from there. So it is so uh, transparent. There is uh, everything is available online. There is not a single university whose admission process is not online. Similarly, there are not a single company. Every company you go to their website and you look for carriers and uh, you can create your like uh, you can ask him to create his uh, profile in linkedin and then through the linkedin or uh, say monster.com or there in the, there are a bunch of websites job related website and then he can uh, you know apply through them for the job also uh, through the companies and if they uh, if they directly to the companies and if he has the right match exact right match what they're looking for you never know somebody can call that hey I, uh, you want to come to canada or you want to come with uh, come to london or somewhere else uh, so he can, he can do that that's the one way second process is that he needs to work for the indian companies who are doing the consulting work uh, in the foreign countries like Tata Consulting Service or Infosys. Uh, like uh, there are many companies uh, who have the people, they are not doing simply the coding or computer uh, science. There are a bunch of engineers, uh, all kinds of engineers they also hire because they are now doing a lot of other engineering services. So that would be another way that uh, uh, rather than working for any company, he should try to uh, go for uh, uh, kind of companies who are as consulting. Third option would be that directly work for every company has now an office, for example, mostly in Bangalore or Pune, all the American companies, you name it, IBM, uh, Intel or Microsoft, I mean, there is not a single company who doesn't have the presence in uh, in um, in India. So the first step would be to work for those uh, those companies, international companies, and then uh, you once you work for the international companies, then you you kind of get uh, exposure. Plus, like you know, you will be called in the meetings. Because uh, say most of the American companies uh, have their presence there, and normally what happens is that work mostly get done in India, and it is managed from here. So, so, so you 
uh, if you uh, if somebody gets that kind of uh, job opportunity to work in india but uh, uh, but one is working for the say, american firm then down the road there could be some opening that way too so uh, there are several ways but most important thing is that how serious he is it all depends on his interest if anybody is really serious to come to uh, foreign countries a lot more easier now than it was 40 years back when i came so okay. you know because those days remember we didn't have any computer or anything like that now everything is on the fingertips you do the google go on the google you need you can on telephone or you can you know you can search if you if you are on the phone after a meeting you can say that uh, for, say for example here uh, american universities uh, uh, list of american universities uh, with graduate program it will give you the list of all the colleges like uh, 500 600 colleges so uh, that's how that's how you start your research you know you keep uh, looking uh, for different things and then you kind of uh, gradually come to uh, something which is really you are interested in and it works it works a thing happens in 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 a short period of time you know you have to be interested in it and i think sir uh, if surinder sir sane now is bta completed and now doing job in india so sir i think mtech from us or canada will be good Other yeah so so depend on the direct job is, see for example what is the salary in india for engineers right now for example your son if i may ask can just give me a general ballpark picture yearly salary how much is yearly salary i just want to do the comparison but with you what is the salary of ha huh? in, in starting 5 to 6 lakh is maximum maximum for whole year right yes yes sir. so so if i if i convert that 5 to 6 lakhs roughly that will be let's call it 7 or 8000 dollars okay yes. so that's all is the yeah. salary right now yes. let me tell you uh, yeah, if he comes to any american university maybe you one semester he may not get assistancy but in second semester normally everybody gets it uh, if he speaks little english and uh, you know if he, he uh, can he can manage and i can i can guide him in that uh, uh, admission process he can easily get like $1000 a month uh, stipend or you call, they call it assistancy like 40 years back i was getting like about $700 uh probably now it must be like more than 1500 but i'm just giving a conservative estimate $1000 a month that will be good enough for him and uh, unless you need him to earn money for you if he has to survive just for himself uh, he can easily survive on that one and once he finishes say it takes two years to finish the masters so let's ca- say that since he will be new maybe it will take two and a half years Uh, uh, uh so he will finish the masters and then he can easily get a job in this country because uh, directly coming from india nobody gets a job here in, in the america at least america you have to have a degree college degree from this country otherwise they don't entertain any any foreigner here directly unless there is a directly transfer candidate which i have explained earlier so then once you get a job and easily uh, right now the starting salary with the masters degree people in engineering is almost like minimum is 60 to 70000 dollars so so that will be how much almost like 50 lakhs minimum so you can you can imagine what is the difference of a scale we are talking here and uh, and uh, same thing in the software is also same way So, and uh, so that's that's the one difference second difference is like for example those who are in the software industry if uh, so basically like i said that people here uh, uh, they do the masters in computer science and uh, they jump into industry and then uh, so basically they become like a program manager or project managers 
uh, almost uh, their career within a very short period of time, they become managers and their job is to get done from India. So they are kind of middleman, middleman here. They, they uh, collect the requirements from the uh, internal or external companies and there is uh, program management and project management teams they do that take care of that part and then pretty much some people part of that team has to transport that task to indian companies and people to work on and so basically that's what at least 50 percent of the software engineers here they do that kind of work they are doing the project management because it is not profitable for company for him or her to do the coding. They want them to manage because they can easily hire an engineer in six, seven lakhs in India and uh, to do the same work. And so they don't want you to do that work. They want you to simply manage it. So uh, basically you jump from a one uh, level of uh, you know job to another level of job. Uh, even career-wise also. So there is a little bit of risk, but uh, that risk is uh, very calculated risk. You cannot earn a good money for first three, four years. Uh, you have to, you know, live like a student, but once you settle down after three, four years, suddenly you just become like everybody else. In America, everybody after 10 years has the house, uh, car, they have it right away in the school, college time. Uh, and, uh, you know, and then you buy a house or take a loan, you keep paying your mortgage and have your family and whatever. But it becomes a regular life. This is the life for almost everybody here that you just uh, uh, keep working and, uh, you know, uh, keep doing things, whatever you like to do. So, so, so this is uh, what he can do if he's interested in uh you know um, a long term plan i would say that uh, like bunker said it's a good idea to go for studies first rather than simply looking for a job i know this is the first thing we ask because in the western countries uh, i mean you know if you don't need a job right away to survive uh, then why don't you uh, do something which can be a long term benefit right so a lot of people like here uh, they do engineering for two, three years, and then they go for like uh, MBA and all that. My son, he has been working for almost like what? Uh, let's see, about seven years uh, as a biomedical engineer. He works for Pfizer. Now he wants to. Uh, he was telling me the other day that he is thinking of doing MBA. So, uh, my, uh, and you can imagine he has done his master's, just like I'm telling, after seven years, he is making more than $100,000, roughly 125, which is probably more than 100 lakhs. So that is the, that is the scale of difference. I, he, uh, he doesn't uh, need anything from me because he makes enough himself. I mean, what I can give him. <laughs> so, so that's why parents here, like in India, parents, they save the money for kids. That is not the objective here because kids are all self-sufficient. Every kid makes enough money, especially the Indian kids, because Indian kids are like uh, engineers, doctors, lawyers, professors, scientists, accountants, very professional because first generation is professional. I mean, you know, when we come from India as a professional, uh, as an engineer, doctor, mostly scientist, then naturally our children has uh, <clears throat> advantage that we guide them to become a professional. That's what we do. So almost all the second generation kids, they are well established. And now the third generation, I mean, for my second generation, the job was that, okay, hey, we want to guide them to, so that they can have a good job, good life. Now third generation is now jumping into politics because they have already done the, <laughs> all this. Their parents have already made the foundation. They see that, uh, you know, some families, they have plenty of money. They don't need any more money. That is not the motivation. They say, okay, I'll go in the public service. I'll join the politics. So that's also happening. Uh, third generation is jumping into politics. But it takes like three generations. First generation, first, we want to be safe, right? Indians are very safe. We like to do... <laughs> 
<laughs> safe, uh, uh, safe entry into any new venture. So safe entry, this, there is a, a safe entry would be that Canada would be that, you know, you go there or uh, if you want to do the job, uh, if you want to do a little more upskilling, uh, then best thing is that, especially when you are young, uh, you do the, come, do the masters and do a little more study. If you have uh, more, more calorie, more firepower left, uh, then you can do even higher studies, do PhD. You'd be surprised to know that in the top 100 university of the world, that is not a single university from, from India. Can you believe that? How backward we are? We think that uh, IITs and all that is a top universities. Doesn't value much because when you compare it with the international scale, what they do here, uh, you know, all we do is cramming the books and uh, asking uh, kids to cram the books. That's all goes on in India. I think beyond the practical here, they uh, they allow you to do uh, real work, real experience. Even universities have plenty of money to do that. You know, uh, it's a part of a uh, system. That's why universities uh, are very well uh, paid, private as well as the public universities both, and they have they have uh, plenty of research grants coming from the private industries that uh, they can uh, they can they can provide the students to do the technical work technical experiments and pay them uh, stipends Just like i said there is a, uh, a stipend for master's program that is stipend for phd program so even if he has more firepower he can do even phd that's another thing he can do or Another way happens is that mostly, like uh, for example, uh, everybody comes uh, Indians in general or Chinese. We start with the masters. So suppose we don't get a job right away after finishing the college masters program. What do you do next? You cannot simply graduate because if you graduate, then you'll have to go back. So they, what they do, everybody kind of enter a PhD program. They as a backup plan. So they have admission in backup. Now PhD program is for four or five years. So now you have four or five years in this country. So you finish your studies at the same time. You keep looking for job. If you get a job, fine. If you not, then you end up doing the PhD. And then again, after PhD, uh, you know, there are a bunch of openings. You can, uh, uh, you can do the research work, R&D work, or, or, or teaching, or, you know, all kind of things open. So basically, uh, 100 out of 100 students who come to this country, probably 90 stays back. Only those who go, go back who are, you know, they have some reason to go back. Otherwise, they don't go back. They go back because they want to go back for some other reason, not for the career reason. Hope it helps. So, sir, you, you understand, Sunder, sir? Yes, yes, I got, I got, sir. Thank you. Yeah. And I can reinforce it later on also, you know, whatever he needs. But the questions have to come from, the first rule in American system is that you, those parents don't do things for kids. They have to do it themselves. Yeah. They have to apply. Yes, this is, this is Indian culture. I'm also thinking. Yeah. <laughs> So you give them little guidance and then he has yeah. to start working on it. And yes, independently, yes. he has to, he has to, uh, because uh, uh, your, your spoon feeding is not going to help him too much because uh, there will be a lot of things, uh, time wasted in, in that process because now you have to find out and he has to find out, you know, <laughs> it's better for him to just uh, dive into it himself when everything is on the computer, right? It's very simple. All the application process for universities is very simple. There is nothing, no pair B required here. In this country, there is nothing like pair B uh, that uh, for admission or anything. You can just uh, apply it and uh, you will, you meet the requirement. If you meet the requirements, you get the admission. Normal standard admission time is fall semester. They call it everything semester system here. 
Uh, so fall semester means August, September is normally the international students, they like them to come, but sometimes they can come also in January. Uh, uh, but uh, university prefers that they all come in fall. So that's kind of a starting point for the program. And then, um, you know, it goes like two, sem two semester a year, uh, fall, spring, and uh, it goes for uh, uh, two years, basically. Uh, the requirement, basically, they have to do like 10 different courses, 10 different subjects they have to study. And uh, so they have like 10 courses. It's like three credit hours. Each course has a value of three credit hours. So total becomes 30 credit hours, they call it. Say, for example, if you say fluid mechanics course, advanced level, that will be three credit hours. You take dynamics, that will be another three hours. So like that, you take uh, different uh, areas, thermodynamics, I mean, you know, different areas uh, you will have to cover depending on what is your focus or concentration. And then <clears throat> and then you take 30, 30 hours, like 10 courses in that area, then you graduate. And uh, like I said, that uh, Indian, prob Indian students don't have problem at all. Well, not really, you know, uh, because uh, they, they all come from a good background, so... I mean, it will be. It is always a piece of cake for Indian students to survive, finish the master's here. What is the Hello, Prem. Yeah. Yes. Good morning, all. Prem, you are very silent. Yes. Yes. Please say something. So uh, Amana said, uh, Amana sir rightly said. So the point is, uh, uh, but sir, uh, like um, you know, when we you know going for that, uh, caring for that, how we can go for that in the searching process. So there were various migrators as when the search said, right? So some people said for the money also. Uh, people will take. I will guarantee you. I will post it there, but you need to pay for some money for that. So how we can tackle these kind of things uh, sometime? No, I, I, I think that's what I said that I, I mean, uh, normally I don't see uh, uh, there is uh, uh, there is something like that in American uh, American uh, uh, companies. So Canada, uh, I don't know how the uh, system works 100% there, but uh, you know, Best thing is, I mean, those middlemen, their job is to kind of align, uh, find a job. And normally the rule should be that they should be paid by the companies, not from you. Maybe okay. a little bit of application fees. That, okay. I mean, that's how, that's how the American system works here. Uh, headhunters are paid by the companies, not you don't pay anything to them. If you look for a job here, uh, if you are a right match, if they place you, the company will pay headhunter for finding you. That's how it works. Uh, I think in uh, in Canada, best thing is to uh, first uh, you know apply directly online on the government websites. There are a bunch of uh, websites there uh, where you can do the research, and then rather than going to a through a company. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, you know the other gentleman who was uh, here with us last week, maybe he can he can help also a little bit. Uh, yes, yes. So so directly on the government website you can apply, and it is a point system for everything. For example, speaking English, you get so many points. Uh, mm -hmm. For example, if you have an undergraduate uh, degree in engineering, you get so many points. Masters, you mm -hmm. get so many points. PhD, all those mm -hmm. things get accumulated. So. Yes. Uh, so once uh, you have that uh, in the government system there, and then private companies are going there to find the match. And um, so uh, that's one way. And then, yes, sometimes you hire some private uh, people, uh, companies, they might be charging money. I know there are some people like, some companies like that, but then uh, uh, some people, those who don't want to do any work, they hire companies like that which is fine, 
but then you have to evaluate them that how good they are how reliable they are and that uh, that quality check you have to do like you know you have to ask for some testimony from some other people who have who has who has been placed by them right you you if some if any of your friend has used that company uh, and that company took some money but they arranged everything then yes go for it if it is uh, $1000 for that i would say that it's worth uh, doing it uh, uh, you know that you're guaranteed because you have a testimony from one of your friend that that company is okay so that so, that so, that's, a, that's the main reason that uh, no no none of my friend is working like that so so that's the main reason sir yeah also then apply on the government's website that's that's what that's i'm true. saying that uh, yeah so there they, you don't have to go through the middleman there's mm-hmm. no need like i said in the western uh, america canadian companies everything is online you do the research you figure it out and then mm-hmm. you uh, it's not a uh, huge uh, huge work everything is online they explain though and then to understand the whole system how it works you know maybe mm-hmm. you have to a uh, little bit to work with those companies those fake company i call it and then tell them and pull the information from them just like they are trying to extract money from you you give them the little hope that yes so you will pay them but first extract the information from them and then you develop yourself so that you have enough expertise that you understand what they are going to do because they are going to do exactly the same thing they will put your name your address your qualification your degrees your points into the system and fill it that's all they are going to do for you yes. uh, in some yeah in some cases they might find job because they are in canada they have some connection they will so you know but uh, but if you do the basic thing you learn with it it's not like uh, it's not like uh, you know uh, you do this thing in one day it takes a couple of years once you have started this project that yes i need to i you have made up your mind that you want to go then you start working for it and then you you start working for it sometimes you fail sometimes you pass or you, but you learn that's how it happens uh it's the life experience so you should not give up just because you have heard of some problems or some hanky panky in this business that goes in every business so it's just like that i don't want to start a business because i know that 80% people fail in doing the business <laughs> so, yeah so you know you have yeah i mean you know 20% people uh, succeed so just be positive start working with it and be careful that's all it is that you just uh, don't give money just like that you need a result first from uh, uh, those uh, uh, middle contractors or head hunters right so so if you so if you have any kind of want to say something Yes, yes, Priyan. Yeah, go for yes. it. No, so so uh, Amanat sir, I urge you if you have any kind of link, any you know kind of uh, uh, a website portal. So if you uh, share okay, with if, us, if 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 any any of you are on the computer, you can share the screen and I'll guide you right there. Just do the search, uh, immigration process for Canada. Let's just start with that one. Okay. Anybody? Okay, immigration. Uh, yeah. Ah, so Pankaj, sir, Pankaj, sir, you can you can go for that right now. You are able to uh, you know manage the, the screen yes. right now. Yes, yes, one minute. So once you do that, automatically it will give you so many different websites. There will be some will be private, and then uh, private companies, and there will be government website to Canadian government. It will be written there, something like that. And then you do the research. You have to read. You have to go through that one. That's the first step. 
So, I mean, so accommodation also by com provided by company accommodation uh, to stay there provided by company, right? Uh, accommodation it works like this. Uh, accommodation uh, is uh, that is uh, you have to find it yourself. But they will give you enough money that you can find some apartment or something or you know share with somebody or become like a house guest, something like okay. that. Yeah. So. Uh, and then keep in mind. Ah, oh, yeah. Did you find anything? Migrate to Canada. Check your eligibility today. Because there will be so I, many I website. Yeah, you will see. I just did. do on your computer. Just immigration process. Just re remember it. Key word is something around that one. Immigration process. How to find a job in Canada? How to study in Canada? These are the, all the searches you do. List of. Uh, graduate programs in mechanical engineering, list of graduate program in accounting, you know, so it will give you, this is how you start your research process. And then you start uh, uh, kind of more what exactly you are looking for. Get the familiarity with the map of the Canada. Canada is a cold country. Keep in mind, uh, it is uh, like, uh, just like the Kashmir or similar weather is the, uh, uh, warmest weather they have. <laughs> so basically, it's cold country. You always uh, like have six months of cold weather you have to deal with. And uh, but everybody gets used to it, right? I mean, you know, uh, we are coming from North India. There are a lot of people coming from the South India who never see any uh, winter. Still, they can survive. So why not we? And uh, and then uh, uh, so. Basically, uh, you when you come, uh, uh, I mean, there is always a procedure there. It's not like you, you, there. Are, Canada has very high uh, Indian population. In fact, Punjabi is well spoken there as a third language. English, French, and Punjabi. These are the three government languages recognized in Canada. So everywhere you find Indian. This is this is not like. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, it is just like uh, you are, uh, how should I say, like in Delhi or in, in, in Bangalore, coming from Bihar, just like that. So uh, you will have a lot of people uh, you can ask. And then, you know, it's one thing leads to another. This is what happened in the research. You start working on it and then slowly you will see that doors are gradually opening for you and uh, your answers so questions get answered right now everything is because you have not done anything you are just uh, you you are looking at the sky and you see all the stars but you don't know which star you are trying to go to that's where you are but then once you know that well my my star is i'm trying to go to moon then you focus on moon what you have to do to go there so that's how we begin the process and then automatically doors will start opening for you yes surinder sir you want to say something yes uh, just i get all the details about this Actually, uh, uh, yesterday I searched the uh, link about the Canada, how, what is the process, but a lot of sponsored sites uh, shown there. And, no, but uh, then we'll I be... didn't get. And... Yeah, you will see the point system. Uh, maybe, you know, that gentleman who was here a couple of weeks back, you can invite him one time and he can give a good lecture on that one. You can, yeah, uh, you know, one meeting you can focus with him because he can guide uh, what is the government system exactly. But you should be able to see that one because, uh, you know, like I said, everything in the on this side of the world is on on computer available for everybody all over the world. There is nothing that I can see being here and you cannot see from there. So they, you have to find that what is the government website. And then, you know, basic first understand the immigration requirement, the point system, how it works in Canada. And all those are 
common anywhere you go even the private companies they are uh, they will escort you so go and read there you are not paying them anything and whatever information you can pull out without paying anything start doing it but there is no harm in talking to them or sending them email that hey i'm interested send me information what is the process ask them questions 100 questions just like you are raising right now and every day you will find that you have more knowledge more uh, you are more knowledgeable about it and then gradually you know you will feel that oh now i have enough that uh, i know it now you can teach somebody else how to do it first of all i think surinder so please find out uh, mtech university in, in, in canada no, yeah no, sir, just saying that uh, uh, you have to master in esa and you can join no uh, uh, no no masters masters program in usa will give you the only the list of american universities canadian universities yeah. will not be in that list so you have to the same thing say the masters program in the you know masters masters program in canada then it will give you or to be even better say for example if you want to do in mechanical engineering you can say uh, mechanical engineering graduate program you know in canadian universities and then it will it will say uh, there are one different ways you can you can see it or simply you say mechanical engineering phd program that will be in mechanical uh, engineering phd program in canada uh, that will give you a bunch of things so i like that all the universities are uh, here in canada and america they are uh, you know uh, there are many many websites which will give you the whole list of the universities and they also give you the ranking of the universities how they rank uh, compared to each other so uh, you know i always recommend that you don't try to unless you are a very top notch student don't try to go for the top universities right away you know pick a middle level university uh, and uh, you know your goal is simply to come and uh, uh, and that is the first step so uh, you you see where can you come which uh, i mean your goal is that you want to come to universities where when you come you can get some kind of financial assistance as a graduate student so number one number two first thing is that you you can get easily admission that's the first thing second thing is that you can get some assistance the third thing is that once you graduate from there you can get a job it's not such a, um, a bad university i mean there are also some some uh, terrible universities here where uh, where you uh, if you graduate from there it will be hard to find job so you avoid that one but that will be already in the ranking you can you know uh, they will show in the ranking itself they will be at the bottom you don't want to go there but if you pick the middle level universities you are all safe and normally students do is that they pick like four or five universities and they start uh, applying and uh, uh, when they apply in four or five normally they get in couple of uh, universities admission and then that's how it happens yes sir thank you hmm? so what's new what is happening in india nowadays anything big news big news yesterday i seen a news regarding Yes, uh, about the growth is financial news yes. is there that uh, Adani Group is falling down <laughs> from wow. uh, yes second level to eleventh level. Yeah, I saw that one also in the news here in the uh, uh, what is that CNBC business news. What is going on with Adani? I thought that they are well connected with Modi government and uh, they they have all hands in ghee. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> right they, now decrease from top 10 top 10 actually hindenburg uh, analysis when it came out about the uh, is uh, uh, went down the lowest level 
Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, but uh, you know, I was surprised about, to see about that, Nicola. Uh, that... about Nicola, he has a monthly uh, generated news and Nicola doing and uh, collapse to the Nicola company in America. Also. Like that, uh, Danny is also going down. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I was surprised to see that how can a company go to they were saying that they have gone to 4,000 or 5,000 percentage in the last five years. I mean, that's, that's so ridiculous. How can a company go 4,000, 5,000 uh, times, uh, you know, and people are still trying to buy that stock? I cannot believe it. Yes, uh, actually, they are saying that uh, behind that thing, there is, I think, uh, evil, evil harm is also that uh, company who has uh, published the uh, their genre about that. So, Indasari, you have a, a lot of back, background yes, sound. Yeah. yeah. Like that is, yes, uh, wind is blowing uh, to, uh, swiftly. That is why. Okay. Oh, now it's much better. Now <laughs> it's better. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And Hindenburg yeah. is do, doing job uh, short term uh, selling a uh, share in the market. And yeah. uh, yes, he actually, for the benefit of this Hindenburg, Hindenburg company, he he published this journal. Actually, he, uh, there is shown, there is shown in general that uh, I was uh, taking information about the Adani group last two or two years before. But uh -huh. he, yes, he didn't publish that when Adani was uh, uh, offering that public offer to, in the share market. He was about yeah. yes, and also that general also published about the Adani group and their share market fell down uh, certainly. Yeah, so, yeah. Yes, short term uh, trading was doing uh, that company and benefit both yeah. to Hindenburg. Ah, uh, yeah, that's that's sad. That's sad that uh, you know. Uh, that's why that uh, there should be oversight. I mean, it's uh, everywhere. There are always some crooks uh, who manipulate. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, so okay. Uh, so that's the big news right now. What is happening in Bihar? I see that. Gov I see news that. Uh, uh, Janta Dal United is in trouble. They are fighting among themselves. Anybody? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Kusmaha yes, and Nitish Kumar. Yeah, Kusmaha and Nitish Kumar. Yeah. I, I find Kusmaha yes, very interesting. Fighting guy. about the, uh, Ram Charit Manas, about the taking Ram Charit Manas of Pai, about uh, Sudra Gama Dhol Pasunari, this type of. Uh, so why is uh, going on in this time and uh, Bihar, yeah. Bihar education minister, education minister claimed that this Chopai has to remove. Yeah, he, he should, he should first understand that, uh, you know, uh, Taran is a Sanskrit word and Taran links, we call it like we have a word, Jag Taran, uh, that is used as a, for the lady's name. Taran hard, like Taran. Taran is Taran has a two different meaning. Taran is one is for pitai, which uh, school teachers do to the kids, and other Taran is Taran hard is like God, who 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 you know who helps you cross the ocean of uh, ignorance or whatever you call it, right? right? So, so, so basically, what there is the meaning is that in our society, yes, uh, Shudra Gamar, they what what Tulsi Das was trying to say that for a long time, women were not allowed to go to school or whatever. All so he said that even women, you know, that's what he was trying to say that everybody can, uh, uh, they all can cross the Bhav Sagar. Tarna means that is the meaning here. And this idiot is taking a wrong meaning of the word. <laughs> you yes. know? So that's what it is. It, it is, Same it thing. is deliberately is taking this meaning uh, to, to benefit the uh, party. Yeah, but you know, people have to counter that one that, you know, 
show them the hindi dictionary show them that hey first understand the word or not to go back to sixth grade of high, uh, middle school you are not fit for becoming a college professor or minister so i even wrote a small article sometime on that <laughs> one i remember on facebook i did little tiny i was shocked i said okay so so that's what is the taran means same thing with the with the with the other one uh, what is that one i, I nowadays this uh, uh, which sastra is there uh, manu manu is in, in trouble too <laughs> yes manu yes, sastra yes. Eh? right yes, same thing i mean manu was nothing but a, a person of the jurisprudence he is a scholar he kind of uh, Uh, did uh, right uh, whatever rules was prevalent or society was following at that time nobody is asking you to follow it to the words because for sanatan dharma is for hindus only the uh, only the scripture which is really considered scripture is vedas okay vedas anything which contradict with veda you can put it in the garbage so first thing is that manu smith is not a part of the vedas it is a separate text so <clears throat> so if if as long as it is congruent with the vedas it's fine but anywhere where it differs with the vedas you all have rights we all have rights to uh, not follow it so the point i'm trying to make is that brahman chatri vaisya shudra whatever is uh, explained in the uh, in the vedas uh, is reiterated in bhagavad gita and that is not based on janm that is not based on birth it is based on your uh, kriya right uh, your skill set it was it was nothing but a, it is it is a labor economics that if you are simply a high school graduate you get let's call it uh, 50 50000 rupees uh, or uh, salary if you have gone to four year degree college you get 100000 salary if you have done a phd masters program or phd program you get say 200 to 300000 rank of salaries so based on your skill set you get rewarded better right same thing was the society uh, society was that hey if you are just a laborer class you are not uh, 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 you have not spent any schooling or, or or developing your skill you don't have any special i mean we have we have here also hourly wage earner everywhere is that class of people so that is one class if you have little of skill then that is a technician class if you have little of skill then you are that is engineering class if you have of skill further then you are a research and development class so like that was the ladder so it is labor economics it has nothing to do with our religion brahman chatri vaisya sud uh, is all uh, you know it is it is a matter of labor economics i have been everywhere i have been going going to the discussion i am saying that separate it from the religion number 1 number 2 my philosophy is that uh, we have completely misunderstood the classification given in bhagavad gita and uh, and uh, and um, our vedas just like i mean you know the body is body for the body to function we need all organs to work can we work without our leg can we work without our hand can we work without our brain no right so 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 this basically you in, in any society to function there are all kinds of work needed and to summarize the work our our gurus or our ancestor they were very smart labor economist they already categorized it into four category of the work and they said that okay if you are simply doing the labor or say service fine you are one category if you are making money you are going after business power money power so so one is the labor power is one source of power or resource second is the wealth or money third is the uh, uh, political power or satta and fourth is the intellectual power so that is how they had divided that four different center of powers there are four sources of power 
if you have uh, labor, you are a power. That's what we see right now that all the things going on in India, right? Those who has the more numbers, they are saying that I need my numbers is higher, so I should have a bit better pie. So that's how, and it is a very good classification, but somehow I don't know how it got kind of confused in India. But if we got somebody confused it, we all have right to fix it. Why are we blaming those dead guys? <laughs> like Manu, is, is, he going to come, is he going to come back and fix it? We simply have to discard it. If you don't like the, uh, that classification, Brahman Chhatri basic shows, we all have rejected. Americans, American Hindus, nobody believes in that one. Everybody is marrying everybody else. There is nothing like a class here, Brahmin or Chhatri or Baisa. So learn from us. Learn, all the Indians should learn from us, American Hindus. We don't care yeah, yeah. anymore here, right? So, so you have an example, give it up. But they are trying to just exploit it, like you said, for our political gain. That's it. And uh, it has, it has, it has nothing to do with the religion that uh, Brahman Chhatri Bhai should. Uh, third point I also make is that in in the life we are all four. Can you imagine? Who, is there anybody who is not after money in our society right now? <laughs> Except few. We all want money because we have to uh, uh, run our family. We have to send our kids to education or blah blah blah. So you need the money. You have to uh, you have to go after money. Similarly, if everybody, even the, uh, uh, except the Gnostic, we all do some kind of puja part, right? You know, even if we do it for only uh, one minute in the morning or sometime in the evening or whatever prayer, doesn't matter whether Hindu or Muslim. I'm saying it is universal. This this for classification of Brahmin Chhatri based shoes. If you know, if you don't take in the religious term, simply if you take the economical, technical term. You know, this is the four different types of uh, people or professionals. You can call it category, category of people. That's all it is. And so, and we, we all, uh, in the real life, we do all kind of, all work, all work. We, we are, uh, when you are a, a head of your family, you are a powerful person for your family. So you are a chhatri at that time because you are you are utilizing your power that time okay so we uh, if you are doing the like i said brahman if you are doing puja part then you you are a brahmin according to that classification so it is it is unnecessary discussion they are doing it we should be just forgetting about all these things and focus on the uh, developing our society instead we are trying to go back all right, I guess you guys have to go now, right? Yes, sir. And second is, is uh, regarding our budget. You know, sir, IMF uh, told us uh, our economic growth is 6.8% in 2023. Uh -huh. It's re really good for India. Yeah. Growth. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's good, but uh, it, even it could be better. Uh, I, uh, I, I know that uh, our, our political systems still has a lot of issues. For example, you know, our, our legal systems are very bad in India. If you have so many cases, uh, and uh, I see that, uh, I, in fact, I, I have some cases going on in my village for, for my families, I know. They have been in pending in court for 30, 40 years. But my family is one generation is gone. My cousins are now uh, fighting those court cases. And uh, if you if you take such a long time to decide the cases, it's not good. It means justice is not being delivered. So second part, I see a problem there is that. Uh, uh, why we have so much, so many land-related uh, litigation in India? I mean, if you go to every village, probably every person who has some land has some litigation going on. Is that true or not? Why? Even in towns, uh, there is a fight going on for the plots. Uh, nobody knows whose plot it is. If it, there are five people claiming that plot. I mean, you'd be... Uh, uh, 
you would not hear those kind of things in developed countries like in uh, in america or canada that there is a fight for the land that who is the real owner so it means that our legal system is terrible that uh, government uh, cannot uh, keep a good track it should be the complete responsibility of the government to show that who is the true owner of each piece of land we have so much money in the bank in billions of dollars a single dollar we know who is the owner of that uh, dollar or say rupee right <laughs> if you count all the indian rupees for every rupees which is in the bank bank knows who is the owner of that one isn't it and similarly if we have say let's call it a 1 billion plot in india how big it is a problem nowadays to kind of keep track of that that who is the true owner of that land and this is causing so much of uh, in the rural areas the problem and third thing i see is that indian system is tarikh for tarikh i mean why you have so many tarikh if you cannot do anything in the court uh, next two months uh, why do you call both parties so they have to improve things legal system police system is bad unless those things are not uh, developed people mm-hmm. from outside they will not invest in india the, yeah. that is the uh, that is because you know uh, you see big companies can do it like a big uh, uh, ibm uh, intel microsoft who has a muscle power to deal with politicians police officers this that they can do it right they can hire a bunch of lawyers but a small players cannot and keep in mind that even in america small companies are like they are the 40% of the economy so only the big companies cannot do the job uh, unless uh, the small companies play the role because again keep in mind it is like all the relationship is uh, nothing but the uh, customer supplier supply chain right we all are uh, nothing but at one point we are supplier for somebody or we are a customer for somebody that's how it goes on in the whole business cycle so uh, it has to be very transparent and that is not happening and i was hoping that modi government would do much more than what they have done but hey it takes time anyway and when i see the politicians uh, they are uh, doing things it's amazing <laughs> but hey what can you say yes sir actually modi government done a lot of work but i think after now they also need a lot of work i think pending for modi yes 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 yes, <laughs> yes. let's legal reform is a legal reform and uh, you know you have to uh, make the society transparent see this yes, country do you know that in this country if if the government does anything wrong with you federal government Uh, which is in the washington dc or say state government you can sue them and they will have to pay pay you for the damage done to you so uh, don't think that in america there is a huge lawyer class for every little thing uh, suing one of the reason people don't uh, do crime in this country is because they all are afraid that they could could be easily sued and in, in if they are if uh, say for example you did something wrong to somebody and somebody sued you you will have to da- pay the damages and you can be bankrupted in that process so it uh, it deters uh, people from doing a lot of uh, you know unnecessary things similarly i mean there are plus and minuses you guys only hear about say for example a lot of shooting in america here in america everybody there are more more guns in this country than the people because just like you go to any shop i can go to any shop and i can easily buy within 2 hours ak47 or yes. if i want yes. four of that i can go to the store right now and i say okay let's go let's go have a let's get two more guns i want to show you off how the america works you come to visit me and i'll take you and you will be with me and uh, i'll just buy we will we'll, we'll see it uh, will uh, in the store you can buy bring your gun you have brought your gun at home 
now now as like electronic item sir it is just electronic item exactly it is just like that you are buying a, a, a what do you call tv set or maybe i should say like a, a laptop iphone <laughs> iphone mobile it's just like uh, yeah so but that uh, the point i was trying to make so, so what happened is that normally people buy the gun not uh, with the intention that i'm going to shoot somebody they buy the gun with the intention that i'm going to protect myself and my family that is the main intention right i mean 90% of the people have that intention uh, that if there is some intruder coming or somebody uh, uh, some thief or whatever then i can use it or say for example i am in the car and suddenly somebody comes uh, to uh, uh, disturb you you have your gun so uh, so what happened is it deters criminal for example it's very common that in this country like uh, i was giving you example of the uh, land dispute we have everything is clear here all the lands ownership house or whatever everything is very clear who is the owner and if if uh, somebody else goes and uh, trespass uh, without any permission or uh, uh, in somebody's else uh, say field or khet so you know the the owner can easily shoot that person uh, so intruder all the land owners have right to shoot down any intruder to their property it doesn't matter who you are and police will not ask you any question they will investigate why this guy uh, illegally went to this property and india it is the other way so that is the difference so it so no, no waiting crime. for court no waiting for uh, uh, legal system say it again no i didn't get your he, question he himself decide uh, this is uh, the wrong person i can shoot immediately and yes. uh, if i, I yeah. if either he can shoot or not have any any kind of a uh, court or any kind uh, yes. of judgment yes. yeah exactly it it is it is here already uh, there that for the self defense uh, you can shoot somebody so uh, especially in your in your property i mean you know you suppose for example a intruder is coming to your house and you give the warning hey hey stop stop uh, this is my house why you are coming and the intruder doesn't stop now you don't know if he has a gun or not right so are you going to wait for him to show his gun no you no, will no. the first and then you act on it that to protect yourself and your family you will shoot him down it happens quite often here in this uh, country a lot of thieves they get killed in this process because uh, uh, they cannot easily get away because people have guns so while you guys hear about big big shooting that some crazy kids normally it happens in the school because they keep failing or whatever happens or romance boys and girls issues you know frustration they just go and buy the guns and then they start shooting down so that is the bad part but it helps overall society a lot a lot of cases which happen in india it doesn't happen here <laughs> no more no more your your neighbors or say your somebody else coming to your field and grabbing it and uh, putting a hut there like happened putting a jhopri in india <laughs> this is my land forget it that opportunity is not there because the land true land owner he knows this is my land he has all the papers he can easily shoot him down in india you cannot do that one we should have a law like that it will cut down all the court cases to half so so this is uh, because india is still a uh, agricultural country we we have to make life easier for uh, people in the villages which has not happened yet in india it's uh, uh, i mean what i see that village people are uh, completely being exploited by city people because you know there is nothing have you seen any generation of uh, the villagers getting better no <laughs> father to son son to grandson land gets divided into pieces uh, and you don't make enough money that uh, you know if you live for three generation uh, in the family from from kisan you become a labor that is the progress you have in india so that is the problem
who wants to become a farmer? Why should I be a farmer? Let's move to city. Then. <laughs> Okay, I guess now okay. time to stop yes, today, yes, right? Yes. Thank you, thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, thank you so much, sir. Okay, I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you so much, thank you, sir. Yes, yes. Thank you, Bye. friends.